Okay, so another unboxing. I keep doing more and more of these. This is a pair of kicks I've just got in. Um, this was actually a out of nowhere grail pop-up, which I love, you know, when a pair just pops up. And I have a few guys that I talk to that are the same size and, you know, they generally come to me first if they want to get rid of something they know I like. Shouts to Jeff um, over on the East Coast, Jeff Cole. Um, he thought of me first when when he decided he wanted to sell. He wanted to sell these, and I think he he knew um, there's a huge pair on my list. Um, I've actually bought my Yoshinia Rose from him, and my Ronnie Ronnie Feig um, New York Nick Joe Light Threes. Um, so he's now sold me a couple of pairs. I also bought my Transit Two Diodoras, the Hanons, from him. So they're the same size, and he's over here in the state. So. I mentioned a grail list when I was unboxing the um, the sale off-white Jordan 4s and when I was unboxing the Flamingo Joe Light 3s. This pair is also from that list. Um, I basically, once he told me like, you know, his minimum price, I was like, okay, I need to get a couple pairs listed and it was a good kick up the arse I needed to list, you know, pairs that mean a little bit less to me um that maybe once did when i first bought them like really nice not anything that i kind of like hated the fact that i owned but just like pairs that you know i could do without in the collection and i'm probably not gonna you know not gonna enjoy wearing as much as others so i got rid of three pairs and brought these in same price so here we go with the unboxing and as always the eagle-eyed you should probably know what this is before i even open the box um, and also just like in terms of the interaction with Jeff um, I like to build up relationships I gift him he I know he doesn't need me to and um, be paying any money for uh, any money to PayPal or any money to whoever else to kind of cover I ping him the money and he sends me the shoes um, so yeah we're all good on that front so this is a three-way collab between Deodora, Packer Shoes and Raekwon from Wu-Tang Clan, um, Packer Shoes, founded by the current owner, Michael Packer's granddad and his great uncle in Yonkers, New York. Subsequently, they have, um, you know, they've opened next generation stores in New Jersey, or a store in New Jersey, 2003. So I think it's like kind of commonly known as a New Jersey store now, but it was a Yonkers store back in those days. Um, and I've actually been told that there was only 200 pairs of these worldwide. So that's all sizes which probably means, you know, roughly if you divide that by the number of sizes, there was probably like 10 or so of these size 11s. And given that that was seven years ago, I'm guessing that we're, I, I don't know, but I'm guessing we're down to less than 10. Someone will have trashed theirs, someone will have lost theirs, someone will have had them stolen and destroyed and whatever. So my guess is there are probably five, six, seven, maybe eight um, absolute max um, of these on the planet um, in this in this specific size right here. So it's a US 11, which is what I take in N9000s. So as you can see here, N9000 purple tape and violet helium, I guess is the, it's a strange colorway. Um, so yeah, I'll pop up an image here that shows the, the current DS price on StockX for my size. Um, you will not be surprised to figure out that it's insane because of what I just said about the stock so so yeah that's a kind of that that's a little bit of a, a background behind the the um the shoe i'll get into more as i unbox these so as you can see here you can open it nothing kind of special on the box particularly other than this 1905 up front you also have the the raekwon um packer deodora sign in the explicit content style and then you have on the back of the box packer the front of the box i already showed you so I'll open this. So you have purple, um, purple uh, uh, paper, box paper, and the shoes. Oh, the shoes. So I'll pull them out, pull all of the little extras out, and then as per typical, I will set the box off to the side as we talk a little bit more. So he has left the greys in which, I mean, I don't mind. I will probably be putting the purple um, ropes in, but I mean, who, who knows? So they come with purple, 
black laces and the purple ropes. I'm going to remove all of them off to the side. So we just have these in here. So, um, so this is the, as I said, the purple tapes. Um, it is a Raekwon from uh, uh, Wu-Tang Clan inspired pair. Um, so basically it's from, from the album Only Built for Cuban Links, which is commonly referred to as the purple tape. Um, this is his debut album. Um, one second. This was his debut album um, back in 1995, released on the 1st of August by Loud Records. Um, and apparently, like, I was reading up a little bit um, as I was kind of buying these, um, and it kind of didn't have a huge amount of notoriety, or at least the notoriety it has today, via, like, so I guess, like, instant sales figures, um, and definitely not as, like, previous Wu-Tang Clan uh, solo albums, but has achieved probably the greatest crit critical acclaim of any solo album since, um, you know, in, in the, over the past 20 years. Um, so, and the drop um, was it was almost 20 years ago 20 years, sorry, between the album dropping and the shoe dropping almost to the day because these actually did drop in August 2015 and they were actually also followed up five years later um, but in 2020 with another pair called Only Built for Cuban Links which is named directly after the album Purple Takes is like the, the, the name that the album was become, come to know, known as um, come to be known as, um, and this, yeah, this was basically in the color of the actual cassette that would have been inside the album. So the two pairs, one of them is modeled on the cassette, this, that's this one, the other one is based on the album cover. So I'll pop a little image up here of the actual cassette and you can see it kind of like next to this shoe. So you can see the similarity. Um, and then in a second, I'm gonna pull in the other pair and you'll be able to see how that's also comparable. So just off these to the side for a sec. Um, and these are the Cuban links from 2020. As you can see, again, looks like a tape side one, and you have side two for anyone that's old enough like me to have had double sided cassettes back in their childhood. And I'll just pull, I know this is about the tapes, but I'll just pull these out so you can see. Again, I will pop an image up here. So you can see how this shoe compares to the album cover in the, the black, the red, and the yellow tones. And you can also see here, I'll, I'll, bring, I'll bring these back in shot, but you can also see here, they both adorn the 1995 branding. Which I'm just gonna get these back off to the side. Pull these back in. function now the box fell down um okay so so yeah that was it kind of like with the um with the album cover um and i also the, the only other thing i talked about like the the 1995 branding which you can see here on both on both shoes um again i will pop an image up here um but they did come with a bunch of clothing also adorning that 1995 which obviously as i said represents the year that the album dropped and he did drop um, a t-shirt, uh, two baseball caps and tracksuit, um, all with that branding on there. Um, so yeah, and that, and that was the, the, full, the full drop. And I wanna say the retail was 200 bucks as well back then, which uh, it was only five years ago, but it's probably pretty comparable to what you have nowadays. Um, and oh, sizing, before we go into the materials and run through sizing. So these are both the size 11. It's gonna again pull this off to the side, but these shoes are both basically size 11. Um, don't know if you can see here, but this pair, I have put shoe trees in them and I've stretched them out a little bit so that they do fit me now, but they were a little bit tight when I first tried them on. I don't know if you can see that kind of like measuring up against the edge of the screen and you do have a tiny little gap here. They do size up slightly smaller than most N9000s. So I take a US 11 in all of my N9000s. 
apart from these, which I should have, they, they are in 11, but I should have sized up, and the, the Hanon alternate routes, which I managed to, for some reason I entered 11 and a half, and then everyone got their pairs and everyone started moaning they were too small, and I was like, okay, good thing I accidentally, like an idiot, sized up, so, so that was that on sizing. Um, and I, I'm fairly sure I will try these on, I'll insert something if, if I do find that they run small, but the only thing I really wanted to kind of, to touch on there. So back in shot. Um, so in terms of like materials and stuff, we'll just run through. So you have a predominant, well, look, it's a bunch of different purples. One, two, three, four, five different shades of purple. Second color being black, because um, obviously you have black on this um, explicit content branding here, black on the, on the insoles. Um, but you have a mainly suede, like a very buttery um, suede and then a very premium mesh on the toe box with a almost like a vinyl um, Deodora logo down here. It's a very, very clean pair. Like you can see with the, like you can see with the tape looking bag that the Cuban links came in, they have the one and the two as well, which represents like the two sides of an old school tape. And then you also have this kind of translucent outsole, which is also a pretty cool touch. I'm not sure how that really, ties into the overall theme, but a transition out, outside always looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, so I've already shown you both, but just to show the box and the bag. They are just here, so you can see them totally different, um, which looks pretty cool. I think like the packaging with this whole thing is really, you know, really cool. So then I guess like final thoughts, oh, one of the things I did want to compare was if we look at these two, they both come with this um, like super cool branding. So this is the, the insole on the Cuban link and then the insole on the, um, on the um, purple tapes. They both come with the, um, with the track listings on those insoles which is pretty cool. You can see that these, these tapes have only been worn a couple of times. The, the, um, the condition looks really good. So yeah, that's kind of like, just looking back through like all of the kind of notes on the shoe, that's pretty much it really. I would say um, they are also like a big, big grail as far as Deodoras go. Um, lots of um, dudes, they're in their top five. Um, so yeah, that's that's the review, over and out.